What is going on, good people of YouTube? It is me, Chavez, back with another Prize Picks video for you. Today is Saturday, April 8th, 2023, and we're talking some Major League Baseball player props over on Prize Picks. As always, I hope this video finds you all doing well and in good spirits. We're going to kick things off with a quick recap over yesterday's plays, and then we're jumping right into a few player props that I like that are already on the board. So if you like the way that sounds, then uh, I encourage you to stick around, drop a like, drop a sub, go ahead and click that notification icon to get notified of all upcoming content and videos from me and my channel. And without further delay, let us jump into those plays from yesterday. Yesterday treated us very well, going three and zero on the day. Let's talk about what worked. Um, taking that under 0.5 runs scored uh, in the first inning for Uvalde and Marcus Stroman uh, going under on the Nerfy. That was win number one. Win number two and three, double down on that Pete Alonzo fantasy score prop of seven. And then we also made him our four bagger swagger call of the day. And he comes through with the home run in the later innings that just uh, puts the uh, puts the cherry on top, I guess you can say. Ends the game, ends the day with 19 fantasy points. The only blemish on the day being the Cannon Smith and Jigba prop being pulled off the board because he was not in the starting lineup. So that counted as a DNP. Didn't hurt your lineups. In fact, it just, uh, you know, if you played it in a six pick flex, that, that prop being removed now creates a five pick flex. So you still have the opportunity to 10x. Uh, the, that slip that I played these guys in was actually a. Um, a six pick flex i had that dnp and then i had a player that pushed his prop which created a four pick flex that uh 5x my money so not a bad profit on the day for that from that one slip i hope you tailed those picks if not uh all of them maybe one or two of them today we're looking to build on that momentum and uh continue this streak so without further delay let's jump into these player props for today all right, looking at the player prop board over on Prize Picks, the last time I took a look at this, it just wasn't all that much to look at, and it's still very, very limited right now. Hopefully, we'll get some movement on this board in the in a good way. So, first player prop on the board I want to talk about, it's going to be a strikeout prop, and I want to talk about the 3.5 strikeouts for Zach Davies versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. I like the over. I like the more on this one. Let's head on over to props.cash and find out why. All right, looking at the looking at the game log for Zach Davies, we can see this is inclusive of some games last season. Going into uh, or coming into this season, I should say, had three consecutive games of uh, three of just three strikeouts, only three strikeouts. Four games prior to that gave you four and five and then had that really bad game against Kansas City, but then gave you six versus San Fran in uh, in late August or mid-August. So looking at just this season, there's only one game to look at where he gave us four strikeouts, which is over what we need him to be today. And uh, in terms of how long he was out there, gave you five innings. So five innings, four strikeouts, pretty strong, you know, pretty solid day, I should say. Now, one of the reasons I like this matchup for Zach Davis, Zach Davies is the Dodgers, despite their, you know, um, allure and uh, and the hoopla and the hype around the Dodgers in, you know, every season, you know, um, which, you know, is warranted. They're a really good team. Uh, but there are a lot of things that people or maybe a lot of casual betters players don't realize. And one of those things is that the Dodgers strike out a lot versus right-handed pitching. So looking at what they did last year, ending the season um, with the 23rd highest ranked whiff rate versus right-handed pitching at 22%. And they're picking up right where they left off. Number 12 in the MLB so far this season with a 25% whiff rate versus right-handed pitching. That's, that's one of the things I like about this prop. The second thing that really gives me confidence about this prop is looking at the pitchers versus the Dodgers to start the season off. Uh, they've faced six six right-handed pitchers so far in 2023, and each one of those pitchers has gone for four or more strikeouts. We're not looking at whether or not the prop was hit. 
we're looking at whether or not four strikeouts were 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 hit. So you have Miro Kelly twice racking up four strikeouts. Herman Marquez with four. Ryan Feltner with seven. And then there's Zach Davies right there with four back on April 2nd. So positive history, friendly environment, friendly matchup for Zach Davies. Um, looking at historical history for him as well. I mean, quite a few players in this lineup or on this roster that he might see today. Uh, however, this Chris Taylor one stands out to me. 13 strikeouts and 31 plate appearances. If Chris Taylor is in the starting lineup, he should see three at bats. I'm not saying he strikes out three times, but you know, Zach Davies needs four four strikeouts. Maybe Chris Taylor accounts for 50% of that today. So all that considered, give me the over the more on Zach Davies 3.5 strikeouts versus the Dodgers today. All right, second prop on the board. It's gonna be a total basis prop, and I want to talk about Shane Langoliers. Took me a little while to uh, to get the uh, pronunci pronunciation of his last name correct. I wanted to say Langelier, overthinking it a little bit there. Shane Langoliers, uh, 0.5 total bases. I like the over on this one. Let's find out why. All right, over on props.cash, we can see that Langelier has uh, accounted for at least one base in four straight games, totaling nine total bases in four straight in four games this season uh, that's a very big positive his his splits do favor uh left-handed pitching higher batting average versus left-handed pitching just putting more balls in play hitting safely uh more times than not 34 plate appearances limited you know limited exposure to the lefties but you know, we, we see some good numbers here. We see some good stats that we can feel, you know, strongly about when taking this uh, over prop. And then, you know, really, uh, this does come down to opportunity, you know, seeing three to four plate appearances, you know, which he's been getting. I mean, look at this four, four, five, four, four, three. He, you know, on the average, he's giving you four plate appearances per game. That's plenty of opportunity for any batter to get on base one time all we need is a single and uh you can uh check the box on this prop so i like i like the way this matchup is looking for uh langoliers versus jeffrey springs give me the over on his 0.5 total bases all right and for our third and fourth prop of the day we're gonna head on over to the houston minnesota game I believe this is the first game on the schedule on the slate we're gonna take a look at Jordan Alvarez, 8.5 hitter fantasy score. I like the over on this one, and I'll tell you why. All right, taking a look at Jordan Alvarez statistics over on props.cash, we can see to start the season off 14, uh, not 14, 4, 8, 10, uh, 13, 15 total bases so far, most of them coming in at series versus the White Sox. Nice start to the Detroit series and then kind of went cold. Not a big deal. This kind of thing happens in baseball all the time. You'll see players fluctuate with hot and cold slumps, streaks all the time. Uh, but looking at Jordan Alvarez, currently is the, uh, I mean, he's the top producing player on the Astros right now in terms of batting average and RBI. So he is their offense right now. Makes me like the over on his fantasy prop uh, just a little bit more. Not a lot of history versus Joe Ryan. Only two plate appearances here. No hits, no, um, you know, no extra base hits, no anything to speak of. But Jordan Alvarez versus right-handed pitching. Now, he is a lefty, so obviously, you know, lefty versus righty is kind of what you're wanting to see in these types of matchups, in these types of props. Jordan Alvarez versus uh, right-handed pitching. Doesn't have as good of an average versus the lefties, uh, but ISO is a bit stronger and is just producing a lot more versus the righties in terms of home runs, extra base hits, and obviously going to see a lot more plate appearances versus the right-handed pitching uh, than he would of the left-handed pitching. Plate appearances for Jordan Alvarez because he bats at the top of the lineup. He's guaranteed, guaranteed is a strong word. Uh, but just the way the, the, the pace of the game now has sped up a little bit, he's going to get you at least four plate appearances today. 
you know, versus Joe Ryan. So I like the way this is all shaping up. I don't mind the fact that Jordan has uh, only accounted for one total base over the last couple of games. Uh, interesting, and this prop is not on prize picks, but an interesting prop that I saw that I really liked uh, that made me want to pull the over on this prop even more is the uh, is the odds for his hits, runs, and RBIs. Currently set to 1.5, minus 135 to go over here. So if we have a minus 135 to go over, which is like, I don't know, is that like 53, 54% um, rate to go over on this line? That means he gives you a minimum of two hits, runs, and RBIs. That's that's a lot of production. I really like the way this is looking for Jordan Alvarez today. Give me the over on his 8.5 fantasy score and sticking with Jordan Alvarez because today, today, Mr. Jordan Alvarez is our four-bagger swagger call of the day. We're looking to make it two days in a row and hitting uh, hitting this prop. And for all the reasons that I just said uh, why I liked his fantasy score, the over on his fantasy score, you can go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and add that to why I also like him for our four-bagger swagger of the day. Listen, something that we did yesterday is we doubled down on a player's fantasy score and uh, really looking for that home run upside. We hit it with Pete Alonzo. We should have did it with Rafael Devers the day before because he also went yard and hit his fantasy hit his fantasy score. So today with Yardon Alvarez, we're looking to uh, we're looking to do the same thing. Go over on fantasy score. And going back to props.cash real quick, this 1.5 hits, runs, and RBIs stands out to me because this could very well come in the form of a home run. He hits a home run, that's one hit. He scores a run, and he score and he um, he drives himself in if it's a solo shot. That's three hit runs and, and RBIs. That's three combined with a home run. So that stood out to me. The juice is heavily on the over for this prop makes me feel like there's something there i'll go ahead and roll the dice anytime we're picking home run props it's dicey it's going to be a little risky because you're looking for you know you're just looking for something that's a little harder to do going out there and hitting a home run is not you know you know exactly the easiest thing to do in mlb although a lot of these guys do make it look pretty damn easy on a consistent basis so Let's take a look at what we went over in today's video. We got Zach Davies over 3.5 strikeouts versus the LA Dodgers. We got Shea Langoliers over 0.5 total bases. And we got Jordan Alvarez over 8.5 hitter fantasy score. And also being our four bagger swagger call of the day, calling it Jordan Alvarez to hit a home run today versus the Minnesota Twins. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's MLB player prop video over on Prize Picks. Leave me a comment below letting me know who you like on the board. Also, what do you think about these player props that we covered in this video? You like them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Or do you just want to leave them alone? Either way, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you all so much for all the continued support as we push towards 4,000 subs. Thank you so much for the likes, uh, the comments, and of course, the subs truly means a ton in helping this channel get a bit bigger every single day. And one more time, if you haven't done so, go ahead and drop a like, drop a sub, drop a comment, click that notification icon on your way out. Truly means a ton. Thank you all so much for stopping by the channel. Best of luck to you all today. And until tomorrow's MLB Prize Picks video, Chavez is